Hello Twin Flames and welcome to the quick five minute check in for Thursday. So today we're going to use a divine structure deck for Twin Flames for the question. So thank you angels. What's the question today? Wow, we've got Celtic cross spread. Very powerful. So this means we can tap in doing a Celtic cross spread to what you need to know. So I'm going to bring in the Gilded Tarot, one of my favourite decks. So what do we need to know, please, angels? What do we need to know? So I'm going to do just a standard Celtic cross. You'll know I do this if you, you know, watch the Learn Tarot series. I'm just going to shuffle the cards and I'm going to split them in three. And I'm just going to pull out any cards that I feel are jumping as clarifiers. So we're going to do these cards first and then we're going to do a Celtic cross. So first of all, we've got the Ace of Wands. So this is showing you that action is coming in. Action being taken to move the connection forward. The energy we're in right now as we've moved into September feels like the energy of action. So even though there seemed like a full stop, you know, a stop, it's now started again. You know, the angels have kind of shown me when you're on a roller coaster, and I only know this because I went on a roller coaster not long ago, but the roller coaster kind of starts and then it goes up the hill, so it's going very slowly, and then it goes fast, and then it may stop and pull back and then go forward again. And that's what the journey has been like as we've transitioned from the energy of fire, Leo, into the energy of Earth, Virgo. So where we are right now, the 1st of September, a new month, it's starting moving forward again. Even if the separation, even if the separation, things are happening behind the scenes. Action is being taken. Even if it's hurting you right now, things are actually falling into place. And remember, the way you deal with it better and easier is to remember that your divine masculine is still growing up spiritually. They are innocent in spiritual truth because they are a teacher to you and you are a teacher to them. You are learning from them and they are learning from you. So that makes it easier to deal with. So they are still growing up spiritually, still understanding. They're gathering all the information they need. So in spiritual truth all as well. So we're going to do a Celtic cross spread then. So that's the general energy. You know, that would be a three card spread. But the angels are asking for a Celtic cross spread. So I'm just going to put the cards out and just do a basic one and see what you need to know. So the energy is even in separation, even if there's still no communication, things are still moving forward. So the basis of the situation is, you know your truth. You've got the high priestess. So trust how you feel. That's what re what's real. Trust your heart over your head. This journey can't really be understood or explained with logic. We have to move into love. So trust what you feel. Raise your vibration. See things from a higher perspective. Respond with love. <clears throat> they give me a block in the throat. So remember, you are telepathic beings. You can communicate in the 5D. So this is about 5D communication, connection and power. We've got the Ten of Pentacles. Something is coming into your life. Maybe it's not there just yet, but you know it's on its way. Why? Because you feel it. The treasure chest is open. So this is what may be currently in your mind. You know, you're thinking, am I going to create this life? Is this all going to happen? And the angel is showing you it's all manifesting and falling into place, especially as we move from September into October. You are building a future, the four of ones. You are building the kind of life that you want. These are things to connect with. What I'm feeling with this right now is the angels are asking you to use this day to set your intentions, to visualize the treasure chest overflowing and the things that you desire, to visualize the future that you want with your twin, the type of life you want to lead, resolving issues and sorting things out, reflecting on the future, thinking about where you are, what to do getting ready for the new year ahead. So a lot of planning and plotting today. And this is the divine masculine getting their energy back so they can move towards you to make decisions in September. Decisions coming in, cutting cords with the past, clearing things away, clearing the clutter. At a crossroads, what path do I take? All paths lead home. So the masculine right now is reflecting on how to move forward, what decision to make, which path to take to you what they want to do in their life, what they need to change, and the busy daydreaming about it. So you're both in the same energy here as the high priestess, focusing on what you do want, not what you don't want, planning, 
processing. So this is the stage before action. This is the preparation stage here. And if your masculine seems to be back and forth, in and out, doing crazy things, remember fear makes us act crazy. So see it from a higher point of view. Realize that in spiritual truth, all is well. You know, if you're, he's giving you breadcrumbs, remember he's receiving those too. He doesn't want breadcrumbs either. So see it from a higher point of view. Be flexible and adaptable. Breathe, let go. If he's hurting you right now, then step back and allow him to sort himself out because good news is on the way. And the outcome is you're both doing the work. You're both doing the work. As we stand right now in the 1st of September, you are both doing the work. Your masculine is growing up spiritually. The separation is healing and it's coming to an end. It's moving into the energy of action and power. And they are giving me timelines again here because it's going to be different for everyone. You know, some of you are going to receive communication now. Some of you are going to receive it a bit later. Some of you are going to move into reunion now. Some of you are going to receive it later. So again, it's the same with union and so on. So they're giving me the dates of now in September, moving towards, De um, move, they're giving me December as well, but moving towards October, October to December, December to March. So these are energies, collective energies. You may call them waves, okay? The angels say everybody's journey is unique and different. So you'll know what resonates with you. You know if it's close, you know if it's taken a bit longer. So timelines I'm receiving for this reading today with the Celtic cross spread are action, endings of separation between now and October, October to December, December to spring, April, March, April time. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.